Let's discuss the role of faith in the high court with Fox News contributor, pastor of First Baptist in Dallas, Dr. Robert Jeffress. Jeffress, good to have you back tonight. Thanks, Shannon. Good to be with you. Okay, so I want to read something um, from the Friendly Atheist. It says, Democrats do not have anti-Catholic bias, no matter what Republicans tell you. They said the problem for Democrats isn't Catholicism. The problem for Democrats is a Catholic judge who decides her religious beliefs are more valid than the Constitution and legal precedent when it comes to applying the law. Those are fair questions to ask of any judicial nominee. And that's the way it's been presented to me by Democratic strategists and others, too, who say, like, we're not opposed to her as a Catholic. We're opposed to where she is going to rule on the issues because of her faith? Well, look, first of all, any nominee who's a person of faith would be disingenuous to say that their faith has no impact on their discussions. I mean, anybody who says that is either A, a follower of a shallow faith, or they're a liar. I mean, our faith is the very essence of who we are and certainly affects our decisions. But, and this is the key point, if any senator on this uh, confirmation hearing asked the uh, uh, jurist, the judge, about her beliefs, that uh, nominee needs to look the senator in the eye and say, Senator, Article 6 of the Constitution that you say you uphold prohibits you from using any religious litmus test to judge my suitability for office. You can ask me about the Constitution, my judicial philosophy, the law, or the weather, and I'll answer those questions, but any question about the specifics of my faith is completely out of bounds. So we'll put that up so people can see Article 6. It says, no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. That is the Constitution. Uh, in the Chicago Times, uh, Sun Times, S.E. Cup writing this, when the left attacks a conservative Catholic woman in this way, it only affirms what Trump has been selling to his supporters, that Democrats are out to get them. Um, how much of a tightrope is this for Democrats to, listen, they obviously are going to oppose any nominee to the seat. It's very important to them. Um, but also in an election year to have uh, potentially the vice presidential candidate on the Democratic ticket is going to be one of these senators in their question questioning potentially Judge Barrett. Um, how do they walk that fine line between making their case against her and not looking like they're making the president's <clears throat> case? Well, they they can't do it. They always make a mistake. They always mishandle issues of faith. I mean, you saw that a few years ago in Judge Barrett's hearing uh, in 2017 when Diane Feinstein asked her about her Catholic dogma and tried to vilify her for that. We remember Bernie Sanders questioning of Russell Vaught in 2017, saying that because he held the most basic tenet of the Christian faith about the exclusivity of Jesus Christ, he was unsuitable for office. I mean, the Democrats are all thumbs when it comes to handling faith issues, and I think this trap is being set for them so that the whole nation can see right before the election that the Democrats cannot hide their contempt, their disdain, not just for people of all faiths, but people of conservative Christian faith. And I think this hearing is going to prove that. Well, I said earlier tonight, I have gotten an inbox full of reactions uh, to people assuming that the nominee will be Judge Barrett. And I got one from a Catholic group. I've gotten several from Catholic groups. And I thought, OK, well, maybe this this one will be making a case for her in some way. But this group is called the Network Lobby for Catholic Social Justice. And they say she cares about abortion, but she doesn't care about other people. Uh, it's a social justice group. They say that she doesn't care about poor or vulnerable, vulnerable people or immigrants. And that's not in line with the Catholic faith. So they say this. To move forward with the nomination of Judge Barrett weeks before a presidential election is an assault on our democratic system. Catholic voters will not accept a partisan power grab by President Trump and Senator McConnell. So they've made the assumption that she is pro-life um, in the womb, but she is not uh, pro-life for uh, people who are vulnerable and poor. I think that's a huge assumption to make and a wrong assumption to make, and I think she'll clarify that in her hearings. But look, to say that somehow this is a power grab and unconstitutional or illegal, it's not. We have one president at the time, and it's uh, he's Donald Trump. We have a Republican Senate. They have every right to confirm Justice Barrett. All right. Uh, Pastor Jeffress, thank you. We'll leave it there, and we'll watch to see if that is indeed the name tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shannon.